Hey so, so another very patch review. So today I'll be reviewing Star Wars Talking by James Lucino. So this book has been out for, for a couple of years now. I'm not um does it have a date on here? Uh no, it does not have a date, but um it came out like after the Fourth Awakens or before the Fourth Awakens, I I think it, was, it came out before the Fourth Awakens, it was one of the first first new canon novels to come out after Disney purchased Lucasfilm. So I finally got in around to actually reviewing it. So over before I go too much, I want to say I did overall enjoy the book. Is that for my rating, I am giving it four stars out of five. Again, one of my higher reviews, then I do and that does I think accurately reflect how much I did enjoy the book. I was I was I was not sure how well I was going to enjoy it when I first checked it out, but I ended up enjoying it much more than I anticipated. Um if you asked me to point say why I was theory, I think it was probably because I just did not really know what to expect. So I guess that probably influenced me a little bit. It's harder to say, but um, yeah. But I did greatly enjoy it. Um, just I'm checking something. Yeah, the last book by James Lucina I tried to read was um Rogue One Catalyst. I'm still working on it and I have not finished. So that's actually probably why I was kind of there to pick up talking because the last book by him I barely got into and it just bogged me down. I got it before I got a cat list like shortly after I watched Rogue One and it's now over a year since I've had it and I still have yet to complete it. So I think that might have been why I was there about talking because of my previous experience with Cat List, which was also written by James Asino. Um that's probably my best reasoning I can give. But um I listened to talking as audiobook just because I I, I'm reading a Legends novel, so I decided I'll listen to the canon novel. Helps keep them separate a little bit. I'm doing that a lot more. I have, I'm reading a book and listening to an audiobook. Helps get through books a, a lot faster. So, so what did I enjoy about the book? I kind of enjoyed how it dwelled deeper into Tarkin's character, how we learned more about him, learned more what made Tarkin, well, um, Tarkin, to say the least. I do kind of wish I knew a little more about the immediate after events of it, like, no, uh, like, no, especially, um, the Breach Tyler character, like, did he survive, did he die, we don't know, I'm guessing he probably ended up dying, but, um, yeah, but if you want to make, see that stuff for yourself, I suggest you go read the book, I do recommend that, or listen to the audiobook as well, your choice. But yeah, I overall enjoyed it. There was nothing in particular I disliked. Um, there, I did like how it showed the early stages of the Empire and what, in that stage, the early years of the Empire and how the the structure of the Empire was still changing in the early years. There was there's still a lot of you know stuff left over from the Republic, but it was not yet the Empire we know. Kind of nice how they show just put that on display. Um, was there anything I would add to the book? Mm, I I would uh, the thing I would have added would have been something about the fate of Breach Tallow, but kind of nice that it is a little bit ambiguous, gives a little bit of mystery, and helps connect to the grander Star Wars universe as a whole. I think much better, especially if he does survive. Though I think it's pretty much implied that he ends up dying. So yeah. Um, other things, anything else I would add? Hmm. I really can't think of too much else I would add. Was, would there be anything I would take away? Probably not either. Don't, I don't get that too often for a book. There's normally something I can think of, but this is just one book I really can't think of anything I would add or take away. Now, stuff I would modify? Yeah, I'm thinking there would be some stuff I would change here and there, but nothing 
a significant note in my review. Well, that is where I'm going to conclude my review today. Just want, just want to say thank you for watching this video. And if you like the video, please like the video, of course, and subscribe to this channel for future book reviews. Also, I'm, I would highly recommend you picking up this book for yourself and give it a read yourself or listen to it as an audio book. And uh, there's always, and I'm always a big advocate for the the public library system. So feel free to use your local library. Um, all else I need to say is um, consider following me on social media, Facebook and Twitter. Um, links are in the description. Also, consider supporting me on Patreon. Your donations there do help make my channel possible and help me to devote time to this channel. Well, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are. May the force be with you, always.